For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Wednesday, October 7th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are some of the stories we're working on at this hour. Vermont reports four new cases of COVID-19 on Tuesday for a current Vermont statewide total of 1,821 with 58 deaths. There was one new Wyndham County diagnosis for a total of 128 with three deaths. 53 new positive test results reported for COVID-19 in New Hampshire on Tuesday. Two new deaths. The state has 8,731 total cases with 446 deaths. In Cheshire County, there have been 155 positive tests and three deaths. Franklin County, Massachusetts remains at 420 cases and 69 deaths. Vermont Governor Phil Scott has vetoed an upgrade to the state's Act 250 development law. Scott said that at the start of the legislative session, there was broad support for a comprehensive, balanced modernization package, but the bill the legislature delivered falls far short. The governor did sign an executive order which directs the Agency of Natural Resources to begin a process to adopt a best management practice-based program should a trail network be required to obtain a permit and to report back on any necessary legislative changes to promote high quality recreational trails that support the recreation economy. A new interpretive pathway telling the history of the retreat farms will be unveiled tomorrow in Brattleboro. The signs writer, historian and author Jan Albers will be sharing remarks about the history of the site. 13 colorful new signs illustrated with vintage photos tell the stories of how the beautiful barns and buildings have been used over the decades. Founded as part of a model hospital in 1836 by the Brattleboro Retreat, the farm has many stories to tell about the changing relationship between Vermont farmers and the land. The Vermont Department of Public Service has awarded $4 million in grants to internet service providers to serve over 2,860 eligible locations with broadband connections in response to COVID-19. About $12 million has been distributed in this program VTEL Wireless is one of the grant recipients. In WTSA Sports, locally, as heard on 99.5 The Beast yesterday, in boys' high school football action, Brattleboro beats Woodstock in overtime 35-28. to Kobe Major, Trinley Warren, Alex Kendall, and Spencer Lawrence each had touchdown catches for the Colonels, who turn around and play Woodstock on Friday, and we will have that game for you on The Beast. Boys High School Soccer Action, Keene, shuts out Brattleboro 3 to nothing. In Girls High School Soccer Action, Leland and Gray beats Bellows Falls 3 to 2. In the American League Division Series between the Yankees and the Rays, Tampa beats New York yesterday 7 to 5 to even that series at a game apiece. Game 3 is tonight, first pitch at 7-10. And in their NBA Championship Final, the Lakers beat the Heat 102-96 to take a commanding three games to one lead over the Heat in that series. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Wednesday, October 7th, my name is Ian Kelly.